Hello, welcome to this Visible Analyst e-tutorial brief working with data flow diagrams. As shown here, there are four simple sets available to draw data flow diagrams in the Visible Analyst. The Jordan DeMarco, Gain and Sarsen, Metrica, and SSADM. You would select the symbol set when you first create the project. To draw a data flow diagram, you would select the New Diagram option from the toolbar or select File, New Diagram, which opens the New Diagram dialog. Select Data Flow from the Diagram Type, choose your workspace and orientation. For a context level diagram, click the checkbox and then click OK. This automatically adds a process symbol to the diagram for you with the process number zero and you're prompted to label the object. Because this is a context level diagram, only one process can be used on this particular diagram type. The next symbol to add is an external entity, sometimes referred to as a source sink in the Jordan methodology. Click the symbol, drag your mouse onto the diagram, left mouse click to add the symbol to the diagram, and then label the object. If you already have some items defined in the repository, you can drag and drop the object from the object browser on the left hand side right onto the diagram. License applicant is bolded to show that it's already used on the diagram. So click on Department of Motor Vehicles, drag it over to the diagram, and it's added. Click the arrow to get out of line drawing mode. The next item to add is a data flow and there are a number of lines that you can use on the diagram to represent data flows. We'll choose the elbow line. When you start drawing within the boundaries of one symbol and then end within the boundaries of another symbol, we automatically connect the symbols with the lines and then prompt you again to label the object. And here I can add another data flow going up to license applicant and we'll add one more data flow. Now you notice that the data flow is opposite the way that I want it to go. While still in drawing mode with the left mouse button depressed, right mouse click and it changes the orientation of the line for you so you can draw the new line here. Save the diagram, click OK. Now we also have the option to show more detail of this process at a lower level. I'll click the escape key to get out of line drawing mode, right mouse click and choose explode. When I choose this explode option I'm prompted to create a new diagram and here I see the net input data flow and the net output data flows are automatically dragged down to the lower level diagram for you. If I add a new process to the diagram, it's process number one on this level. However, if we continue to add processes, the next process is going to be process number two. Click the arrow to get out of line drawing mode. Click on the line, connect it, drag it to the appropriate place. Now this is an output data flow, so we'll connect it as an output here and then we'll connect this as an output data flow here. 
when I save the diagram the visible analyst automatically creates a nest relationship between the parent diagram and this child diagram. Click OK. We prompt you to save the name of the child diagram with the name of the parent process that has been exploded. So we'll click OK. Now there's a relationship between those two diagrams. If I right mouse click on the white background and choose parent, we go back up to the parent diagram. If I add a new data flow, click OK, save the diagram. When I explode the process again, the new data flow is automatically dragged down to the lower level diagram. In one of the other how-to videos, we explain how to split a data flow into component data flows. So right mouse click on the data flow, choose split data flow to open up the split dialog box. The visible analyst also has an analyze function. Onto the diagram menu item, choose analyze, choose syntax check for the current diagram, click OK. In this case, we have a number of errors displayed. The data flow labeled license application is dangling, meaning that it's not connected to a process. The process administer row test is an output only process. There are no input data flows connected here. You can leave this error dialog box up while you correct the items on the diagram. So we'll take license application, connect it here, Add a new flow. And add it here. Cancel. When we reanalyze the diagram, the diagram is correct. Each object on a data flow diagram maintains a separate independent repository entry. Either right mouse click on the symbol or line, choose Define to display the repository entry for that particular item. Again, this is a process. You'll see that it's process number one. When I double click on the data flow, perform row test, we have the ability to define attributes for this data flow. Click Exit. If I continue to explode a process, create a new diagram. On this level, the process is labeled number one, but we also include the process 1.1 to show that it is a child of process number one. If I were to explode process number two, its child process would be 2.1 2.2, 2.3. Displayed here is a picture showing the decomposition hierarchy that can be created within the visible analyst. Going from process 1 to process 1.1, process 2 to process 2.1, etc. That's a very brief overview of the data flow diagrams in the visible analyst. The online help system explains in detail the use of data flows on the diagrams, adding processes, the nest function, and the decomposition function. Thank you.